This is Drosura brevifolia, and these particular plants are from Hampstead, North Carolina. I really like this species because it's capable of developing some very nice red coloration if given enough light intensity or if you don't feed it too regularly. And it is also very heat tolerant, especially in the summer months when it's 90 degrees Fahrenheit. As long as the soil remains moist, in my experience, these plants have done very well. And I also like this because the flowers um, are produced at least once a month if you feed this within every two or three weeks. Um, it flowers very frequently and I've produced at least 2,000 seeds from these plants, if not more, which I've been able to spread around and I've also heard great success rates with germination. The plants you see here are two years old grown from seed and quick size compar comparison with a dime. They're about the size of a dime or a bit smaller when they're clumped especially, but I think if they were given a, a bit more room they could grow a bit larger than a dime. Unfortunately they're being somewhat overtaken by this Drosera species Lantau Island hybrid which I planted at the same time in the same pot due to a lack of space but eventually I hope to plant these guys in their own pot about this size and I'd be able to get quite a few seeds by doing that. I highly recommend this to new growers and um, experienced growers alike because it's very adaptable as I've mentioned and very beautiful as well, um, compact form, which you can cram a lot of these plants into one pot. So if you can obtain these seeds, um, I definitely recommend giving these sundews a shot, and I'm doing my best to spread this around to as many growers as I can, so that it'll become more common in cultivation pretty soon in the near future. So this is Drosura brevifolia.